Well, hey there, Brandon here from preachandlead.com. I'm so glad that you joined me because today we're talking about something that is really important and something that pastors do all the time. And if you do it well, things go really well. You get a lot accomplished. If you are poor in this area of your leadership, it's going to just be frustrating for you, not only you, but for your team and for your leadership team. Today, we're talking about project management. It's something that we as pastors, we do all the time. You are constantly managing projects. And I don't know about you, but in in some seasons, it can be too much. It can feel like there's too many plates spinning that you're trying to juggle, spinning, juggling plates, all that mixed metaphors. And it can just be a little bit overwhelming. So what I want to do is show you how in my Notion Ministry dashboard, I have tried to grab hold of the projects that I'm leading and the projects that we have as a church, especially like, for example, I'm going to show you my capital campaign project in Notion and how I've broken that down. And then I also want to show you my project management template that I've created to, to really give clarity on any project that we start, whether that be, hey, let's start a ministry. Hey, we need to, we need to launch this event. Hey, we've got this giving campaign that we need to do. Uh, whatever it is, there's plenty of use cases in, in here, but I want to show you how I'm managing this all within my ministry dashboard here in Notion. If you missed the prior video, I talked about how to set up your week for the most maximum effect, you know, just in, in your everyday ministry life. I broke this down in the last video. You can check that out on the channel, uh, but we won't be talking about that. The big three for the week and the daily planner. These are built in for me to be able to see them all together. The next section is my, my task list and my projects list. So these are related together and I'll explain like what that looks like here in a minute. But as we go in here, what I want to show you is just some the, t the template breaks down good project management, uh, just like theory. A lot of times it's called waterfall project management, which is a lot of times what we do in ministry. We start, okay, we've got this thing that we want to launch. What do we have as the goal, the end in mind? And then we work backward from there. Uh, so I'm going to start a new project, new project. Awesome. Sure. We'll go with that. And so I'll open this here and I'm going to load my project template. And as that's loading, I'm going to make this all one big screen. So in here, we've got the basic kind of process that we need to walk through if we we're going to start a project. If you've got a project that's going to be getting going, um, you, you need to first off start with what, what are we trying to accomplish? A goal description. I've got this little cheat sheet in here as well. You know, describe the why for the project. What's the intended outcome? Because a lot of times when, as a pastor, you have an idea or a staff member has an idea, you know, you might need to get approval from your board or your leadership team, whatever that may be. And you, you're certainly going to need to get buy-in if you're going to include other people. So you need to make, make sure that you're crystal clear about, hey, what are we trying to do? Why are we even doing this? So the goal description is there. Um, we're going to break down the people who are involved. Also, I love how Notion has this. It is very powerful to where you can get multiple team members on Notion, and then you can include them in the projects. Because you got to really got to decide, okay, let's say we've got this, um, let's say it's a marriage retreat that we want to put together. We'll just work with that. What's the goal? Well, the goal is to provide a a exciting evening and weekend for couples who want to reconnect and work on their relationship. Uh, so the goal, the end goal is for them to leave feeling more connected to each other than they did when they arrived. Okay. So crystal clear goal. So that gives us, you know, kind of a, a an aim for how we're going to accomplish that. Okay. Who needs to be involved though, in order to make this happen? Uh, you, you probably need somebody for marketing, you probably need someone for the, the little nitty gritty details of planning. You, you might need someone who's going to be a coordinator, who's going to like work with venues. If you're not going to host the event at your con at, at your church building or something like that, um, you, you got to really work out, okay, who, what kind of job descriptions do we have? And then what are the people who are going to fill those roles? Um, so who can you invite into the project in order to make it a, a success? What would their roles be in the project? When will you speak with them? And then 
as I said, if you're using Notion as your kind of project hub, you can add them here and uh, tag them into there and they'll get notified and you'll be able to see everything that they, you know, you'll, you'll both be working from the same platform. And I'll show you how that works out here in a minute when I show you my capital campaign. Okay, next, what's our budget? What do we have available to us? Do we need to raise funds? What does that look like? We need to make a bu a budget. And I just put in here a, a just a simple table to be able to, you know, you can add as many things as you want in here as you build out this budget. It's important to know what you've got to work with. Okay, deadline. When is this going to happen? Wh when does everything need to be done by? Okay, now in light of that, what are my major checkpoints? In any project you've got, You've got all these little nitty gritty tasks, but you also have checkpoints like, hey, when we reach this point, um, we're really like in the first third of, of things. So what the first thing might be, okay, we need to outline this project in the, no in the Notion template, and then we need to get approval from our board. Or we need to get approval. Maybe you're not the lead pastor. Maybe you're an associate. Um, so you need to get approval from your superior. Or maybe you're a volunteer, right? And so you need to go talk to the pastor. And so you got you got that checkpoint. Okay. Once we get that checkpoint done, we need to create a communication plan. Okay. Communication plan is created. Okay. Now we have to build all the assets, the resources, the videos, all of those things. Okay. That's that's created, and so on and so forth. So you got your major t checkpoints, and then. Within my ministry dashboard, I have a task manager built into it and Notion's wonderfully powerful to where what I've done is I included a task view of that, that database in here so I can directly add tasks in here and then connect them to the project. I can give each task a deadline and then I can connect that task to this project. Um, and a little note in here, you know, to, to remind how to use it. And then, okay, what are the meetings that we need to have? We probably need to have a, a like a pre-planning meeting, get people involved, get their ideas. A great way to do that is to get them involved in the filling of this out, this template. Get them helping fill out the template. And then, okay, after that, we probably need to have a launch meeting. Like, okay, we're going to get things started. Make sure everyone's clear on their roles and their assignments. And then we need another checkpoint and a checkpoint and a checkpoint to make sure that progress is being made. And so you kind of lay all that out. And what this ends up being is a beautifully powerful way to make sure the things you're intending to do in your ministry, they get accomplished. Okay, so if I go back to my ministry dashboard, I can show you um, how I've used Notion for project management for me. Now, this is after, or this was before I made that project template. I tend to kind of already have that stuff in my head after many years of project management. But what I want to show you is how I broke down a couple of things, the timeline and the communications calendar, because I'm, I'm talking about a commu like a capital campaign and that requires an abundant amount of communication. So I created both a timeline and a communications calendar. So I'll show you this, break this, make this big. Okay. So this is a breakdown. It's a list view of a database. And in this I've created, um, different pages. So each one of these, I can, I can pull it up and I've got different information in each one of these. Um, and they've got like a range of dates. And the nice thing that this does is I can view it as a timeline. So if we call, come back way back here in December of last, well, 2022. So just call it 2022. We're, I'm not used to 2024 yet. So phase one begins and okay, what is, what does phase one mean? Well, we got a name to describe the project. We got, we got to create communication documents. We got to create a communication plan. We got to do a, a timeline for the construction part of this. We got to secure bridge funding. Uh, we got to get leadership commitments. So that's phase one. We're making sure that we're crystal clear on the vision and the why and how all this stuff is going to go big picture capital campaign, right? So you break all that stuff down. Phase two, you've got leadership development. So you're going to be getting those key people involved. Okay. So we got the building team, community group leaders, finance team, need to get them all involved. And then going public is when we start to actually talk to the whole congregation about it. 
And you can see how all these things break down here, phase four, follow through. And uh, this was a successful launch and it's going really well as of this point. And so that's my timeline creation within Notion. And then I created another t uh, database. So these are databases. So if you go in here, you forward slash database and you can do a full page and it creates a sub page that has become like this. So within, within this database, um, I'm able to show a number of different views. The Kanban, Kanban, like, like Trello, if you ever use Trello, it's like a board with you can like drag things from idea to in progress to complete. Uh, we use this a lot. Um, you can see all of the things that myself and our communications guy, Aaron, uh, work together on. So just to show you, um, within this, I had status, um, a link just in case we had something to share that was within Dropbox or something like that. The, the type of communication, where's this communic where, where's the communication happening? Is it a podcast, video, Facebook, Instagram, et cetera. This one was a stage one. Um, now the media, he, he created some media for it. So put it there. So Brandon and Aaron are involved. And then, you know, I start breaking down kind of the outline of the presentation and go on from there. And so as you can see, there's just a number of different communication things that went involved, like went into this. And I organized them based on the date that it needed to be done by. This is when it needed to be published and ready. Um, so it's all organized and uh, seen here. And all these things are complete. This actually is complete as well. Um, and then this is just going to be in progress from here and on to the end of the project. Um, so then you've got a calendar view that you can see. And so you can see kind of how all this stuff breaks down within different weeks. And there's a lot of things within a communication of a capital campaign that happens all together. And it's just, I, I love the flexibility of Notion. And so if you are wanting to get better at project management within your ministry, then project management within Notion is so flexible and so powerful. Once you get a handle on it, it can be so beneficial to you and your church, making sure that you move forward in your ministry. And hey, if you are enjoying these videos on my Notion Ministry dashboard, just an FYI, um, you know, first off, let leave a comment, let me know if you are. And secondly, I do plan on making this Ministry Dashboard Notion template available for purchase soon. Now, just keep an eye out on it. If you wanna be one of the first to know when it is available, then if you're not already on my email list, go to preachandlead.com slash roadmap. There you can get a free download, the Intentional Pastors Roadmap, that will help you gain more clarity and more just strategic vision for your church to lead intentionally, not just yourself, but your whole congregation. If you go to preachandlead.com slash roadmap, I'll send you that roadmap so that you can be more intentional in your ministry this year, and you'll be one of the first to know about uh, the ministry dashboard when it's available for purchase. Um, like I said, leave a comment. Let me know. Like it if you liked it. And um, let me know if you have any questions regarding how to use this. Uh, so thankful for you joining me. I'll see you in the next video.